I'm gonna tell you three important factors you have to consider when designing ventilation systems for uranium mines. There are more than three factors. So if you want to know more about them, I invite you to read the material I'm going to name here. First, you have to consider the ventilation air transit time. What is air transit time? Is the period that the radon gas stays underground suppose this is the radon gas accumulating itself until it reaches high concentrations so we need to reduce we as ventilation engineers we need to reduce ventilation air transit time to what amount to 10 to 15 minutes second we should not ventilate working phases in series using a system in series why because if we do this this is our fresh air race right this is our return air race okay so fresh air goes here is taken up by this uh, fan this fan uses ducts to ventilate this phase but what happens that the used air with radon progeny in it is going to do like this and this air is going to be used by this second fan that is ventilating this second working phase and it's going to use this contaminated air with radon progeny in it and so the concentrations of radon gas is going to be high as you ventilate more working phases using this serious system so you have to avoid this and we should use instead of this we will have to try to use parallel systems so i'm imagining something like this okay so this is a parallel system we have just one fresh air source here and the product the contaminated air from this working phase number one is going to do this and the contaminated air from this working phase number two is going to do this and these two are going to go to the return air race in this way we are uh, making sure that people here are going to receive fresher not contaminated air and three if we consider these airways to be the paths of our fresh airflow, then these should not cross or intersect uranium bodies. These airways have to be drilled in waste rock. And of course, I will have to remind you that these fresh airways at all times have to be isolated from the return airways because we don't want any kind of contamination of radon contamination in our fresh air sources and of course never you should never use one of these airways to handle ore i hope you find this video useful and also i hope to see you soon with more ventilation material don't forget to share this information with your colleagues. I will appreciate that very much. Thank you for watching.